the Tungsten Show. Everyone, welcome to the podcast. Welcome to the Tungsten Show. Um, here we are today over Skype this time, uh, rather than being in the studio. Um, Edsis, I'm going to let everybody know what we're going to be talking about today. Hi, hi, thanks. Um, so, yeah, today we're going to be talking about coronavirus, right? That's our big, big topic. Um, it is. Everything about it, which might maybe this one, this episode might not relate only to light technicians, but will be a bit more broader about freelancers and freelancers' self employed life um, within the UK mainly. Um, but also, we could touch a bit about world, other countries, what's happening. Um, how to yeah. how to really just hold yourself in the coronavirus? Exactly. Uh, how, how to, to survive save it. money? Yeah, how to survive it because it, the, yeah. it really has got to the point where you know there are elements of survival that are needed. You know, everybody's there's so many people living paycheck to paycheck, and we're looking at an industry of freelancers and currently the government hasn't said or announced any solid plan for them which you know has got a lot of people you know a lot of people scared um and fearing exactly. you know what's but happening next we shouldn't be scared we shouldn't be to we, there's no there, basically there's no place for panicking there's no reason for panicking so we kind of have to just wait and 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 see how things go and things change and, and things change drastically every day possibly by the time we upload this episode some things we mentioned here might not be relevant anymore um, or questions or any concerns arise yeah I mean news um, every day is changing uh, yeah there's Everywhere. there's new new facts there's um, there's new rules and we're hoping that we can get this out the following day um but just as soon as possible just trying to keep the people that want to be informed you know in film um freelancers just get that information out there um currently um we've got the um we've got in the united kingdom we've got 8077 cases with um which which is crazy it's crazy but at the same time not as bad um it's as not other it's... countries the worst one is now italy and um i I've, I've recently watched a webinar um which is freelancers webinar uh which is based basically created from north form entertainment um and there was a, a person who was speaking this webinar, he was in, from Italy, and he was a bit giving a, a, a view how things are in film industry and entertainment industry in general looking in Italy, and it's pretty bad, same as everywhere. Um, yeah, I mean... Uh, I mean, a Hollywood reporter said that the film industry is facing $5 billion of loss currently which yeah and that's just now and that's now yeah that's now um, um there's gonna be more. states are just basically everything is just starting right and uh, mm -hmm. financial crises are just at its start economy yeah. you know um, Thing, things are but things are beginning to you know fall yeah. over and so we have to really we have to be ready down. for for the worst in a sense um and what I can see definitely is that for us, like lighting technicians in industry, there is not going to be any work at all for next months, maybe even years. Um, which means... Yeah. Which is scary. Which, which is, is scary, yes. It's scary. You so can't be scared, but you know, you've, like, you have you've, to got, you've of, got to admit. You have to find something else to do in this, this time. Um, of course, there are difficulties, financial difficulties for everybody because there's no work, there's no money. And we are still, we still need to pay our bills and we need to pay our, for most people probably they are renting their places where they're living, their, their houses. Um, 
those who yeah, are I mean, owning, I know that mortgage, mortgage, um, mortgage holidays, be been yeah, they're, they're, they can be delayed and they don't, they can, they can kind of freeze their payments at the moment, which is good, but it's yeah, still a bit think, slippery with the, with the tenants who, who rent. I mean, it's, it's interesting because if you go on the government website as of, um, as of when we're, when we're making this video, um, there's very kind of vague suggestions. The, the the mortgage holiday applies to also buy to let mortgages. So anybody that's renting a flat that someone has bought and they're renting it out, like the landlord is, you know, is getting help. However, they've still got bills. So, you know, we, we wanted to talk to, you know, we want to speak out to freelancers and say, you know, chat to your landlords, look at your bills, where can you save that money? You know, can you talk to your landlord and say, look, I, you know, I'm not able to pay the bills. Um, but, you know, talk to them, see what bills they've got to pay, because this isn't a kind of win and lose scenario. This is about everybody compromising because everybody's in this kind of position. Um, everybody's in a, like, everybody's at a loss um, financially. You know, I mean, when um, when this first happened, I thought the first thing, you know, first thing that we need to do is you've got to look at your, you know, look at your bank statement, look at the, look at your subscriptions, you know, like Netflix, Spotify, Amazon, you know, all those different things which usually you would stay subscribed to, and then think, oh, actually, what can I cut back? What can I cut back on? Because you know, as much as as much as this people may be thinking, oh well, you know what, maybe this is gonna be three months or maybe this is gonna be three weeks, it well could be like Ed's as you were saying, it could be twelve months, it could be two years. Um and personally I believe, you know, people are gonna take it is gonna be years till this you know, people aren't affected by this anymore. And I think this is gonna create a permanent kind of permanent domino effect into the industry. Definitely, totally, definitely agree. Even even if we if we see that the health organization would change, the situation would change, and everybody would start to get healthy, it would still probably take months, even maybe even half a year after the, all this crisis, to come back in the place we are now. Um, yeah, it's it's harsh in that sense. The with the with the tenants going back to tenants thing and and renting. Um, I know, Morgan, you have managed to arrange a discount for your your rental in your London's apartment, right? Yeah, so I, um, I've i been working, you know, I've been chatting with my landlord and I, I just said, honestly, I'm not going to be able to pay the bill. And when it comes to that, you know, people people are going to be a lot more understanding than if you say, you know, like, I can I can pay them up until this point. You just have to you just have to lay out and you have to be transparent because everybody's kind of got to want to understand each other. Um, and I you know I, I do recommend and, to and anybody. Of course, yeah, the, if they are if those landlords who are um, earning their main income from when renting out, they don't. Of course, it makes sense. They don't want to just cut off this income because they still also need to eat something. Um, well, exactly. They've got yeah. they've got bills to pay. Exactly, um, yeah. It might be it might be their um, it might be their only source of income. So by yes. cutting off by cutting off that, you may be putting them in a worse position than you're in. Um, you know, this this isn't just a holiday. This is um, you know it is survival. Emergency. Like Crisis. everybody's going to have to go out Literally. and do something. Um, but that comes that brings me back to the fact that you know currently there's an estimated fifty thousand freelancers in the u k um that will lose their jobs and um uh, I read somewhere that forty thousand of them are with Beck two, which we've mentioned in previous um previous podcasts, which you know which is where you know you can get an element of comfort because you know that they're going to fight for you. Um, yes, and you don't have to be part of Beck to 
back to his fighting no. for everybody anyway, um, in that sense. But it's it's worth following them to see any any relevant information. Um, mm -hmm. But it, it, we are now talking mainly about UK, back to the yes. UK union. Um, I'm not sure how these things are handled in other countries that much. Yeah, I mean um, freelancers yeah. around the world, there's going to be a lot more than 50,000. Yeah. Um, yeah. What you can, basically, there are a couple of things everybody can do now, right now. Um, well, we all know that yesterday evening, um, government has officially released that it's the you know in, international crisis at the moment, so nobody is allowed to go out from the, their homes. Um, it can be you can be legally sued for that. There are certain ex exemptions why you can do it, but mainly you shouldn't be leaving your home if, if it's nothing urgent or not nothing that you know relates to to life or death. Um, so. By that sense, in my case, I can't work, I can't earn much by not going out, because my mainly as a lighting technician, right, I, I have to go on film sets. So film sets or film productions are not happening. Um, my second source of income was or has always been video editing, but because I could do that, right, remotely from my home. However, because there are so many people out of work now, it's very comp competitive to get video editing jobs. And it's almost yeah. impossible, so I can't really relate on that. Um, what I, I mean, can whatever, do, whatever, whatever jobs there are out yeah. there, um, they are now so incredibly competitive because people yeah. are jumping all over them. Because to be able to get the chance to earn any money, it's you know, it's, it's very hard. Um, exactly, almost impossible, I would say. Yeah. There is not as not as many work as people are there now. Um, so what you can do, what I can do definitely, is that I can apply to universal credit that everybody's now doing. It's a bit tricky now, I believe, because it's it has a big, big queue that you have to wait a long time to be able to get actually your um, phone interview set. And like for me, I have to wait now for a month. So by the end of April, I would know my result if I can get anything and then how much I could get. Um, but well, to I be mean, honest, um, what I, in my situation, I, I recent, yeah, I um, I recently went on a on a website which I'll put down in the in the description. I can't name it right now. I can't remember the name of the website, but um, it allows you to figure out whether or not you're going to be be able to get universal credit. And I went through all the steps. And I got to the end, and I'm not eligible for universal credit. And they, they even actually had a, a section where it was whether or not you were affected by coronavirus. Um, and I think the challenge is you know, everybody is. And yeah. at what point? So therefore, like, is universal credit the answer? Or is it something else? And, you know, I believe that as... As, as great as it is to apply for universal credit, if everybody's doing it, the system will be overloaded and you know, it's just not going to help anybody. Like you said, you're going to have to wait a month to see. Um, but even when you get that answer back, the likelihood is that could be zero. Basically, universal credit is for people, everybody, even working people. It's for those who struggle with money. So, no, of course, I mean, yeah. and to be honest, it's something which um, which I had seen recommended, but when I went through the process, you know, I was surprised because, you know, I'm, I'm out of work as well. And I have done that, and basically I'm kind of in a situation myself now that um, I, if I don't get this support from government, then there might be no way I could pay my rent because I don't have any savings almost at all. Um, all my savings would be enough just to, just to pay food for myself, not for rent, and which is sad. Um, so if that happens, I probably would need to live. If Basically, if universal credit doesn't work for me, or it doesn't give me enough, then probably I would have to live off my deposit and then move out. But at the same time now, government has released a rule that landlords can't kick out anybody if they don't pay at this state 
in this emergency situation. So as long as the emergency is there, nobody who is who is ha who is living in homes should go get, you know, should become homeless. Um, that shouldn't happen. There's a law behind it, um, but hopefully. The, the it, universal credit is promising because just recently they adjusted the household income. The universal credit has multiple different areas on layers of, of sections where you can qualify for. Um, the basic income is basic income, which is something about like two, three hundred pounds per month for sing if you are single living by your, yourself, uh, which is not much for somebody who is living in London. However, they look on every case individually and they have this section for house um, charges. So basically they give you enough money to pay your house bills, um, your living costs. They could cover the whole thing on, on top of that, give you extra. Some people have reported already that they are earning now, they're getting from universal credit um, up to £1,500 a month. So, if that's the case, if I could get something like that, even more than, even, even just above £1,000 a month, if I could get from universal credit, that should be more than enough to cover my expenses and, and buy food and cook from home, right? And I could stay and survive. That's fine. So, universal credit is a good thing to apply for anybody, not only self-employed. It applies to anybody who is struggling with money. Yeah. Um, but then there's a new... Thing that um, government is now working on, which basically it's implementing a new regulation, which is now implemented in already for those who are working as employees for a companies. Now they are working on this new regulation um, for self-employed people that they will they will be able to receive from government. Um, money which is 80% of their monthly net earnings average over the last three years or almost three thousand pounds a month uh, with whichever is less basically so this thing is not yet approved there is no system made for it yet but government is working hard on this now and in UK of course I'm talking about UK now so by the end of this week, so by Friday, mm -hmm. so what, what day is today? Today is 24th, so Friday 27th of March, right? 20th on 7th of March would be the latest when we would see this to be applied in real life. So by next week, hopefully we all should be, should know what's going on with the, you know, support from government and could kind of figure out what we can afford or not. So for, for now, uh, what also, um, Martin Lewis, Martin, you know Martin Lewis. Martin Lewis. No. He he runs he runs um, Money Expert Advice website. He has this project and he does yes. also money money advice TV shows. Um, he recently created a video, also posted on Facebook. On, on, on his page, on Facebook page, you can follow him, um, that he advises people to not um, do drastic changes and change anything in their lives yet, as government is now working on a new help helpline plans and, and support, the ways they can support people. So we just have to kind of wait and settle till things get, you know, cleared. Um, so hopefully government will be able to help. So, yeah, no, no time for panicking. They're, they're, we don't need to panic, just stay home, stay safe. And, um, and I suppose it's worth probably worth adding um, for all the viewers um, a little explanation of why me and Edsus are on Skype and we aren't in the same room. And that oh, is in yes. fact because um, I flew to California two days before they put a travel ban down and I'm now... Um, I'm now in California for a month um, until my flight back, uh, so our podcasts are probably going to be digital for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, 
But also, it's it's a, another reason why we can't do podcasts the normal way we used to do is that our studio is also closed. And of course, now from yesterday, since yesterday, nobody is allowed to go outside. So and and nobody can there are any gatherings over two people from the same household are banned. Also, so we just physically can't make any podcasts physically now. It's illegal. Yeah, I mean, so it's... every podcast we'll be doing will be digital through Skype or somewhere else on internet. Yeah, <laughs> that's the new life. Yeah. Everybody, sh- everybody has. It's the new life, to, and that's the thing adapt. is, ev- everybody has to realize that life is changing, and yeah. it's going to be different for quite a while. Um, I mean, I I know in in the UK they've um, yesterday uh, they said that. You know, they were enforcing people to stay at home, um, but here in California, they've been um, they've been telling people to stay at home uh, for the past three four days, I think. Okay. Um, so, but the numbers are very different. You know, I think they're trying to they're trying to stay on top of it. There, there's two thousand uh, two thousand two hundred twenty cases in the whole of California, and they locked down. For the UK, which now has eight thousand, um, yeah. so the UK is really not looking very good. Um, and you know, I I can understand I can understand why the US doesn't want anybody flying out of there now. Um, of course, doesn't look doesn't look great from the outside. Um, but also, it's that well, in UK they are advised to not go out from home long time ago, weeks ago, and nobody... That was advice. It's what advice, yeah. Now it's a law. Because people just ignore it, you know. Um, It's the nature of human beings, I guess. Um, (laughs) Indeed. But how else has it personally affected you, Edsis? How's your shopping going? Have you got any toilet roll? Oh, yeah, well, we got toilet roll. We are sorted, um, luckily, as we had some beforehand, and... Uh, yeah, well, I'm I'm st- I'm living in Chingford, and in Chingford, um, this area, the local shops. If I would go to local shops, I almost wouldn't be able to get anything, um, because all Colp is completely empty. The test small Tesco's Express has a bit more some stuff. They 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 they've been handling this thing situation a bit better, but there is no toilet paper in any place at all. Um, in my area. However, I'm lucky enough to have my own motorcycle so I can just drive a bit further away from London and go to those big Lidl and big Tesco superstores and get something there if there is something I'm really missing okay. and really need. Um, that's what I did last week. I drive my bike and shop there um, that way. Actually, it's really it's a lot cheaper, to be honest, than doing online. I used to do everything online through Amazon, but because Amazon now is overwhelmed, um, I, I wasn't able to get any window. However, today I got a window on Saturday, so I'm getting my food delivered from Amazon on Saturday, so I don't have to go anywhere. Um, Great. But it is a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Online delivery is a bit harsh. I feel like maybe it's worth not using online deliveries and leaving them for some people who can't access shops. Yeah, I mean, like the, the elderly, the ones that are most at Especially risk, really elderly, should be using yes. that online delivery. Yes, yes, and um, so I, I'm kind of in lucky position so that I can go on my own on my own own transportation without using public transport to the shops. But, you know, I don't really want to anyway. I just don't want to risk catching virus and spreading it anyway. Um, we all are responsible, aren't we? Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Um, and how is it in states? I mean, Tell I me how's, uh, how's, how's getting food there? Getting food, you know, if you want fresh vegetables, it's not. It's it's very easily, very easy. Um, there's, um, you know. There's shelves and shelves of fresh vegetables, um, but I went the other day and we um, we waited in a line for about half an hour outside uh-huh. the store. And when we got in, um, the only thing left in the pasta aisle was um, was lasagna pasta. You know, the flat sheets, um, and I think there was one box. 
uh, no rice. There hasn't been, you know, there hasn't been rice for a week. Wow. Um, it's not as bad in UK, I think. You can still no, I get think, rice and potatoes. I think people over here are a bit kind of crazy with the panic buying. Um, I'm very surprised you could get rice there, to be honest. Um, so would you, um, would you now be able to go to the store and buy rice, pasta and some canned, canned food? Well, in my local chain horse one, not, but in bigger superstores, Tesco superstores, yes, they definitely have okay. almost everything they have. I even was able to get gluten-free flour. Um, not a problem. <laughs> yeah. So, still fine. And I think they are they are working hard and they are doing a good job on getting things supplied. Um, and I believe, I, I feel like this whole crisis thing with food will end quite soon. As, as bec it's, it's happening, I believe, because everybody now suddenly can't work. And everybody is now in this panic situation when, oh shit, I have to stay home now. And I don't know how long I'll be able to get out from home. So I have to stockpile my cupboard as much as I can so I can stay there without, you know. And everybody is doing that. So that's why we have food crisis now, which shouldn't be there. Uh, if everybody would just be buying food Agreed. for a week, you know. Um, I mean, the question is, if people were buying food for a week, would they be going back to the supermarket more? Would that risk spreading it more? It true. potentially would be a problem if people weren't true, stockpiling true. and staying at home. Also, yeah, it, it, it is tricky. It's tricky, and especially for those old, older elderly people who maybe are not physically well and physically capable to, to go to the stores as much as we can. And maybe don't even know how to use online shopping. Um, it it mm -hmm. really sounds scary, but I hope these people have somebody next to them. Because like I've, I'm quite new in my neighborhood, so I don't know many people around here. If I would knew that mm -hmm. there is somebody who, who needs that help, I would help, but I don't even know about it. Um, I mean, what what we could say is, if you know anybody elderly around you, um, you know, it's always worth going and knocking on their door, obviously keeping your distance, but, you know, offer to go to the shops for them, because it could be, it could be fatal if they get it, so to be able only to... Only if you're healthy. Yeah, don't, yeah, I mean, if you, yeah. if you think you've got it, don't go around no, never, shopping for never. people. Um... So basically, um, how about I talk about a couple of things which could be useful for people to follow? So people and Facebook pages that I would suggest yeah, to take a look at. Of course, no, let's, let's um, get those out there. Yeah. yeah, basically, there are a couple of Twitter accounts now. Twitter is booming a lot. People are having, getting, able to get a lot of good information there. Um, on Twitter in the UK, House of Lords account is the one that they they will it's the first place to look for any regulations changing and government um, decisions um, then there is a person called donna taberer it's um twitter account donna taberer um she is interesting lady she's head of talent at bbc and she's also a content director of screen skills and what she's doing, she's creating online courses for free now. So it's worth checking out for film industry people to go and look. There might be something useful you could learn. Um, maybe get some tips and tricks how to survive now in this place. Um, yeah, she's so doing I mean, all at the best to do that. Yeah. At the moment, at the moment in this time, you know, everybody has so much free time. Now is the time to educate yourself. You know, learn. Um, learn anything you've been planning to, um, the things you've been putting off. Yeah. Now is the time to do them because if you're going to do them at any any time, you're going to do them now. Um, you know, getting. Um, Edis was mentioning earlier that, you know, for electricians, um, lighting technicians, now is the time to do your your qualifications. Um, so you can yeah, do a lot yeah. of those online. Exactly, electrical qualifications level two and even uh, 7909 and 756, whatever, all those numbers, all of those qualifications, electrical qualifications, you can, there are 
places you can get them for free. I'll put them in the description, those links to those companies that do them online. Uh, I mean, sorry, I'm not for free. They're not for free. They're online available, but uh, not for free, of course. They are paid courses. But if you are, if you have um, planned to do it at some point, I believe this is the best time to do it as there is no work around. Skill up, definitely. Um, another place to look for is, of, I mentioned before, Martin Lewis. Martin Lewis Twitter account and Martin Lewis um, uh, Facebook page. He runs a lot of good advice also for self-employed people about how to save money and what to do and what government is doing. So he's updating all of all us on what's best to do now. He runs this money expert advice website. Um, of course, back to back to is worth checking out. They update everything also about, and um, they are the, they are those people who fight for us and for our rights as self-employed people and, and film film industry professionals. Um, then there are loads of Facebook groups that you can, you know, keep up with all this information coming out, which is mm -hmm. all the you know film film jobs and and uh, there are even special Facebook groups now for coronavirus created for film industry professionals. Um, what else I haven't checked? Okay, um, the callsheet.co.uk is very, very legitimate source. Um, they have Facebook page and they update a lot of information you can find there. Just recently, a couple of minutes, ago, two hours ago now from now, um, they have released uh, basically an information that BFI, Netflix and film and TV charity has launched one million pound uh, emergency relief fund for those who are in crisis and really bad situation at the moment. Uh, worked, worth checking that out and if you need money as ASAP now um, for your children, for your family, um, you can go and apply there for at filmandtvcharity.org.uk. Um, they have also helplines you can call numbers. Um, that's another thing to look into. Um, More reasons not to yeah. be worried. More reasons to feel yeah. secure. You know, there's a lot of people out there that want to help. Um, I do think it's worth adding, you know, I've got, um, no, I'm not going to name any names, but there's, 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 um, being a freelancer is, you know, only as secure as a job, which isn't going to fire you. And a lot of equipment houses, um, have been, a lot of kit houses have been firing people. Um, uh, kit house we know has fired 15 around 15 people uh, and this this is it's just crazy because you know what what was thought to be something which was secure and uh you're going to be getting your bills paid no matter what suddenly no. can just fall through like that exactly so you know the security for you know we're, we're all in it together even the people who are employed are going to start um are going to need just as much help and i think it's important that People don't feel alone because they're a freelancer. You know, everybody's everybody's out to help, and everybody under, understands the position you're in. Yeah, and there are loads of companies who do. Um, you you can find them also through those Facebook groups and pages. There are loads of companies who do those online trainings, and they even do provide online yoga courses. Um, so also, it's very important to keep active and and exercise. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so, I mean, get out of the yeah. house, walk around the block, um, and just get that exercise in. Also, back to Keep back fit. to young members um, Facebook page has released recently yesterday. It's yesterday they released a message that they are looking for uh, freelancers from all ages groups to send in a video recording or writing some words of their situation and telling their basically explaining their situation, how it's going, at communications at vector.org.uk. So it's worth checking with them, even if you're not part of Vector. 
uh, and tell them and, what's their situation. And it's probably worth adding there that we are also t taking requests um, and um, we're wanting anybody and everyone to send in videos to say their scenario, their position that they're in. Um, you know, just kind of sparking conversation for us on the show. Uh, next, on the next episode, we we hope to have a couple of uh, a couple of friendly faces, really. Um, you know, people who are in similar positions as you guys. Just being able to just bring people together in a community. Yeah, yeah. Um, should we explain how people can yeah, do that? Take it away. Basically, what you have to do to be able to get in touch with us. Um, the best way would be probably to send in a video also um, of you filming yourself with your phone um, and explaining your current situation or any thoughts about this COVID virus now thing going on. Uh, maybe any advice you have or any any thoughts really um, upload it somewhere on the internet probably we transfer will be the best and send it to us on tungsten show podcast at gmail.com um, the other alternative of version to do it is by audio if you go on our anchor um, page which is anchor.f and slash tungsten show you can uh, click on the message button and then record your audio message and then send it in to us and it will go straight to us and we'll be able to share it with other people in the, on this podcast in the next episodes and discuss these matters and share it with the world um, i think it's very important for everybody to come together now and it's not anymore who is the best or who is, you know, who is who's going to take that, pick that more, most valued job and get the best paid job, you know. I think we're all in the same situation, no matter what's our levels, we all are out of work and we all need support from each other. So it's very important to, to share your thoughts and share the situation and, and how things, just, just to, to, to see how things are for other people, it's very important for everybody to understand. Um, do you have any example you've heard from other people how, how, how they are coping with this whole situation? Um, I do, yeah. I mean, I've, I've had a, a couple of messages. I mean, interestingly, you know, people have messaged back and they said that they've been on, um, until yesterday, they've been on set, you know? They've oh my God, on, really? On, on a production, yeah. But these, this is people that have been on like a feature or, um, or, or a longer, you know, a longer, a longer gig. Um, but there's also other people, you know, like I was mentioning earlier, other people that have, have just like, they've just woken up one morning and everything's cancelled on them. And yeah. that's, that's what it is case. for most people. Most, most cases people, is yeah. Yeah. people just don't have anything. I, I, I've heard that there are people who are, I'm not mentioning names here, but I've talked with some people I have worked before in the film industry and those people who have worked in the film industry for like 30 years, you know, as a camera operators and they, all their life they've been doing just freelance, you know, working as a freelancers and they never have gone in a situation as it's now that they don't have any work anymore and they have like small children in, 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 with that they're living with and those children are also mm. not going to schools anymore so they have to teach keep teaching those children the education that you, schools was supposed and colleges was supposed to give. Um, parents have to now do that, which gives them extra things to do and extra things to worry about on top of yeah, all I mean, the trying to, related things. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah I mean, try, try, trying to be online and be on your computer and you know, find those jobs or do whatever you can. There's no point. Make. There's no point in looking for jobs at the moment, you know, um, exactly. because there's no work. Um, so we are really now desperate in in the sense of for government support and hopefully governments, not only in UK but all over the world, will be able to cover and help everybody. But I also wonder for how long, you know. How long mm. they will be able to give us 
this money every month for millions yeah. of people. At some point, this money will run out. Who is yeah, going to pay that? The, 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 big, the big fear for me is, like, you know, do freelancers really want, if the money ends up being um, a loan, do freelancers want that? You know, they're already struggling, or in a lot of cases, they, they people are struggling, or they're working paycheck to paycheck. And as soon as you give somebody that's working paycheck to paycheck a loan, um, you're putting them in a very, very tricky situation. Um, people, a lot of people won't want to accept that. Um, so that, that, that puts people in very, you know, in a very hard situation. Exactly, exactly. Um... I mean, you know, something I think, I think I would like to mention before we kind of wrap things up would be, you know, the financial situation of not only the country but the world is, you know, stocks, shares, the markets are falling. Um, but that is for the lucky few that have savings, you know. People should be, especially freelancers, should be thinking about how, you know, putting a small amount of money into the stock market could potentially be, um, could be their, their pension. And, and, and it'd probably be worth for you saying that this is not a professional money money advice, and this is indeed. only for this, entertainment it, it, purposes. Yes, um, you know, this isn't professional advice. Exactly. Uh, however, however, do your own research, um, make your own decisions. But um, now is a time of opportunity, um, and. You should, you should certainly, certainly do your research whilst you have the time. Yeah, but at the same time, we don't know what's going to happen in the next months and even years. So be wise on your decisions on where you spend your money. Agreed. Um, yeah, I think we should finalize. Is there anything else you like to Agreed. say? Um... <laughs> Is there anything you're missing from your points? I, you know, I, I don't, I think, you know, back to a directly talking to MPs, I think being able to know that is, you know, it's good, knowing that there is that connection, you know, they are standing there and they are talking for yeah. it. Um, so IPSC so is doing the same it's thing. So it's important, if you, if you can talk to Beck to Beck to can talk to the people in charge, that's... You know, that's the thing. If, the, if... I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, there was a form that you can mm. fill out and send a letter to MP um, to, in, to ask so they can take a look and help self-employed people. Um, so check on back to website. They have some forms and things how you, the ways, basically they're sharing this information of ways how you can contribute in helping everybody mm -hmm. um, do that. Well, I don't know if it's really worth mentioning of the situation that everywhere in the world the cinemas are closed and, for, you know, festivals are cancelled. I, yeah. I guess everybody knows that and everybody's aware of the whole, whole industry. Exactly. There, there is no work. Um, I think I think the end, really, the end bit of advice is, you know, keep your distance from people. Um, yeah. And anticipate how long this could be. If you have savings or if you're getting any money, like be ready to kind of be ready to live for a long time in this position because we don't know how long it's going to be. Um, and that's why they're not giving any numbers and any time. Uh, things are very unpredictable uh, and there's a lot of uncertainty, but you just need to play everything with a lot of caution. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I guess on that note, no, say stay safe and uh, get in touch with us through the video message. Um, we're going to put all this information in the description as always. Um, send us messages on Instagram. Send us messages anywhere you want. Uh, get in touch with us. Let's pick this up as a conversation more than just two of us battering about, you know, talking about mm. whatever we see. I want to see everybody's view on it. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, stay tuned. If anybody's, in, if, if anybody's interested in, you know, Instagram Live, 
wants to join the conversation you know we can we can try and bring people together um, definitely and we want to look at doing doing more of more of everything more more content you know we've got time let's spread the word come exactly. together as a community um you know it's probably worth saying like and subscribe um and stay tuned for more exactly thanks for watching bye bye The Townsend Show